coming up next. Diane Keaton stars as a yuppie executive who has to choose between her career and motherhood in Baby Boom. Well, you see, that's the funny thing. I can't have a baby because I have a 12.30 lunch meeting. As a New York businesswoman, quite successful living with a New York businessman who is also quite successful. And the last thing either one of them wants is a baby to interrupt their success. So you know what's going to happen next. She gets custody of her late cousin's child and the sweet little baby girl wrecks havoc with the couple, even when they give her gourmet linguine. Oh. Great idea. Give her linguine. Wonderful. The baby also causes problems when Keaton is forced to check her in the coat room of a restaurant where she is having a power lunch to land a new account. Do you have anything to check? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 I, just for an hour. It's just, you know, take care of it. It's very agreeable. Hughes, J.C. Wyatt. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, thank you. Uh, would you like something to... Oh, I see have something to drink. Well, I think I'll join you. Um, waiter, I would like a glass of wine, the same as Mr. Larrabee. Yes, so, how long are you in diapers for? <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes in the movie, and despite the problem she has with the kid, even her boyfriend leaves her, Keaton decides in favor of a domestic life. She moves to Vermont, where she encounters some other kinds of problems. Harvard, I graduated to the top of my class for what? To spend my life fixing up this dilapidated shack where you can just forget it because I'm going to get out of here. You see, I need to work. I need people. I need a social life. I need sex. Well, things get better in Vermont when she meets the local veterinarian played by Sam Shepard. But the yuppie in her is still frustrated even in this gorgeous setting. I have only one thing on my mind at this point in my life, and that is to get out of this moth-eaten town. And nothing here, including you, Dr. Charm, holds any interest for me whatsoever. So what do you think about that? have some very funny scenes together, including one where she doesn't at first realize he's a veterinarian. Diane Keaton is excellent as a young executive. The story is a little bit predictable, and I didn't like the wall-to-wall -wall musical soundtrack. You could hear it when she walked through that restaurant scene. I really don't like that. But for me, Baby Boom was funny about babies, about business, and about trying to balance both. I think you're right when you said the movie is a little predictable. It's also a little bit of a fantasy. I mean, after all, here's this woman who is so rich that she can afford, after she gets the baby, mm -hmm. to quit her job, buy a 62-acre farm in Vermont, mm -hmm. move up there, and then when things get a little tough, what happens? She starts a multi-million dollar gourmet baby well, food company and falls in love with Sam Shepard. I mean, we should all have it so hard. It's right? an old-fashioned so it Frank Capper movie. It is movie. a very old-fashioned. In fact, I was going to say Frank Capper because it even starts with a narrator who kind of, right. you know, portrays her as a typical executive and tells you who she is and so forth. It's real old-fashioned. It is sweet. The baby is cute. Yes. A lot of the scenes are funny. Diane Keaton is appealing yes. just as long as you leave your aesthetic sensibility on check uh, circa 1946, right. so you don't expect anything to happen in this movie that wouldn't have happened 40 years ago. There's one funny bit that she does. To show her nervousness as an executive and their intensity, mm -hmm. she goes like this. She starts shaking her leg. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen guys who shake their legs all the time. I have yet to see a woman do it. I've when seen I... it on I Love Lucy. I've seen it on My Friend Irma. I've okay. seen it on every sitcom. Well, it made me laugh an awful 50. lot. Okay, well, I'm happy for you, Gene. And two thumbs up for Baby Boom with Diane Keaton as a yuppie who becomes a mother. We both enjoyed it.